in this video what we'll be doing is in the previous video we have seen the preferences right so we had given a namespace that is credential was the namespace and then we had a key value paste right so what happens like by the course of a time then you multiple different products you do it you have multiple of those namespaces being uh present uh there is no such a specific method by which you can delete those namespaces so what i can do was you need to go ahead and delete that nvs space nvs is nothing but non-volatile storage so you need to delete that particular thing so that's the only way we can do it as for now because we don't really have any method to erase those namespaces so what you can just do is include the nvs flash and then call the flash this will erase the nvs completely and then again initialize the nvs so let just upload this uh just upload this here and uh i'll upload this i'll cross check it by or giving the previous code to see like if that namespace exists or not. So that should not return me in data out there. So let me just uh, upload this quickly out here. And once it has been uploaded, the NVS has to be completely uh, formatted or completely erased. So I'll upload this here now and this will delete me completely out there. So yeah, I'm done uploading out there. I'll just uh, undo this here. So why? And uh, let me upload this now again okay and this i'm trying to uh, retrieve data from this credential namespace and these are the two key values i have it let me see like if i'm able to retrieve some data from it or not okay so i should not be able to retrieve any data because everything was erased so let me just cross check it again so i'll upload this so for some reason there's issue with this cable out there so it got disconnected in between and uh, i cannot upload this let me try to upload it again out there and i'll uh, upload this so i'll upload this here uploaded right let me just open my com3 so if it is my uh let me just auto scroll so this uh there is no data coming in here it just successfully retrieve and then there are two empty spaces because uh there is no such data present into it right so i'm getting it empty spaces so this is how you can go ahead and uh write something into it and also go ahead and then uh flash it completely that is erase it completely and then retrieve the data and check for yourself so do let me know in the uh, comment box down here uh, how, what have we done at what have we implemented with this and let me know your implementations. I would really love to go ahead and uh, see your implementations out there. So happy learning and I'll see you in the next video with something amazing out there.